Hey YouTube people, I'm back again, sorry it's been a while, I've had school start, work, it's been a busy, busy beginning of, I guess the year slash season, things that need to be just taken care of, but here I am, we're going to discuss my likes and dislikes, uh, I don't want to really say love, hate, because, uh, you know, Certain things grow on you, certain things change. Uh, here's the truck. It's pretty dirty. It's been raining on and off here in Texas for a while. So I can't really get it clean. I'm gonna try and get at least 10 dislikes and then I'll make another video for like at least 10 likes and try and go through it, see if anyone else is uh, experiencing kind of feeling the way I do. None of it's a deal breaker at the end of the day. Like I said, this is the way I feel I'm gonna put emphasis on the way I feel what I like and dislike so that is my opinion it can be very different for other people okay so uh, YouTube can be a little uh, unforgiving sometimes but here we go okay so number one I'm gonna go ahead and say power uh, I have the 5.7 Hemi in it, uh, V8, no issues whatsoever, just I remember the first time I drove, I think a Limited, I was kind of underwhelmed, and not to say that it's slow or underpowered, it just, it seemed a little bit like it didn't have as much get up as the previous model, um, I'm, that could be just me personally, it just seemed really kind of a little underpowered so that's 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 my first one number two for me would have to be maybe the gas um i don't think i guess just the way the vehicle was advertised you know it's lighter you know the transmission and things that have changed it it almost led you to believe that you know it was going to have better mpg and i'm not complaining like i said but just the way it's advertised, it, it leads you to assume that there's going to be, but you're possibly going to get better gas mileage out of it from the, all the changes that they made, you know. Um, honestly, it's it's really doing about the same, and I'm not sure. It's more aerodynamic and and just all the extra little things that they did, but at the end of the day, I'm, I don't know what y'all are getting in y'all's so if y'all have uh, new 19 Rams, but it's still about the same as the 18 rams so i would have thought you know maybe there'd be like a two to three mpg difference and um like i said my brother has one has a ram um he's had a four by four and a, a regular two-wheel drive one and i have the two-wheel and uh we're, we're getting just about the same so it's uh that's interesting to me i'm i'm, I'm kind of curious on the, all that and number three will take us inside And one of the things is the AC. I've read on the forums how some people are having AC issues. And I got to tell you, this is probably the worst vehicle. Let me, how do I describe it? It's the worst vehicle for AC that I've ever had as far as uh, blowing power and cooling down. It's not bad. It's just not as good. It gets the job done. It's just not as good as any of my previous vehicles. Um, Durango, F-150, uh, Charger. It just, it seems like it's not cooling enough. Well, not as cold. And it doesn't blow as hard. That's what I'm, what I'm seeing with the AC. And when I go to... When I go to max AC... It's on regular AC now. Typically in vehicles, when you go to max AC, it steps up a notch. In here, nothing changes. It blows a little harder, gets a little cooler. But if you feel the AC and put your... Let me turn this down so y'all can hear me. But when you go to max AC, typically in most vehicles I've been in, it goes... It takes it up another notch, you know, from Arctic to Tundra kind of style. And that doesn't really happen here. Uh, I, I haven't had time to uh, go to a dealership. Like I said, I've been pretty busy, but I'm going to go to a dealership and check it out. It does work, but just underwhelming, I'll say. 
number four. The heated seats in here, the cool seats, they're fine. They're vented actually, so they're fine. But the heated seats, you know, medium, low, high. At the highest point, it feels like my Durango at the lowest point. I don't know if that's kind of that McDonald's thing where the coffee was too hot, so they had to do something about it. Um, for those of you that know what I'm talking about. It gets hot as hell in my Durango. Like, I can cook on that thing. And here, mm -mm. that's the lowest setting in my Durango is where it gets here. It's the lowest setting. And and most heated seats that I've been in get pretty warm. This one, it seems like something's blocking it, or maybe it's holding back. I don't know, but it doesn't get it doesn't get to as a uh, as warm as most vehicles. And the steering wheel gets pretty warm, so I have no complaints about that. But uh, that, that's another feature that maybe I'll talk to uh, the uh, dealership about and see if there's a fix there or if anyone else has noticed that. And here we go to number five. Number five, like I said, these are these are simple dislikes. That, it's just dislikes. It's not like a make it break a thing. But here we go, number five, the mirrors. Right here is to close the mirrors. First of all, you hear that? They hit the windows. I don't know over time if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing but i'm not sure that's how it's supposed to do that i've never had fold mirrors automatic folding mirrors so i'm really not sure you know i'm sorry to all you people that got the tow mirrors and tow package um so i i think this is a cool feature i like it i use it a lot i just i think in some vehicles Whenever you typically when you get out, you know, close the door, you turn your car off, bam, they should automatically close. I mean, why isn't there a setting for that? Or is it just me? Uh, it seems like that should just be a setting for that and call it a day. All right, moving on. Number six. Number six actually kind of bugs me a little bit. <clears throat> you see this thing right here? It's 2019, well, 18. Why, in a $50,000 vehicle, why? I can't explain that. Not a deal breaker, but I can't. I don't understand why that's not automatic, tilting, telescoping. I don't understand that. Maybe next year's model will have it. I don't, I don't know, but I can't. I don't understand that. Number six, I have room in this vehicle. I am six, seven and some. I have room in this vehicle for my knees, but it's it's close. It's comfortable as I'll be in most vehicles, I'll tell you that. Um, I, it's, it's a little tight right here, when I, especially when I have shoes. This thing, this area right here, it kind of protrudes out a little bit, so it, comes in and then it comes out a little bit this side it's it's just perfectly flat um they they talk about how in the back seat there's two more inches of leg space which that is true actually you know i'll, I'll give them that but it seems like something up front changed a little bit because on the 18th on the 18 i don't you know my seat's all the way back right now in an 18 i don't have to put the seat all the way back uh in the front to not hit my knee against any of this stuff, especially driving out of town. You gotta make sure, you know, everything's is right. My knee's not on it, but it's close. It's very close. If I move a certain way, sometimes it could get a little uncomfortable for me, but uh, definitely not complaining there. It does work. It just seems like there's less room in the front seat than in the previous model. And I have, I'll hands down tell you, I have a lot more room in the Durango than I do in here, and I can work, I can adjust it to more positions in the Durango that work for me compared to in here. I just have to go all the way back and all the way down in my truck. I'm used to it, been dealing with it all my life. Uh, I guess that's the cost of being big. All right. Okay, I think, I think I'm on number seven. I don't know. Y'all keep up for me. 
Uh, here's a feature that I like, but I figure with all this real estate, we have this 12 inch screen right here. Why? I'd like to be able to use all of it. And I understand it's more of a software thing or whatever, but I wish I could use this whole thing as a screen and a camera. You know, I wish the whole screen, not just this top half. I wish I could have this whole screen. Give me, you know, a piece of, this is my all around. Oh, let me open my windows, my mirrors. Okay, so this is my, you know, they call my bird's eye view here. And it can give me plus with the front or. Why, why can't I get all these kind of stitched around on here? Or just make this bird's eye view just one big thing. Instead of, you know, piece here and a piece there. That would be really, really cool to see that. Especially with this big, big, huge screen. Give me that. That's what this screen is for, in my opinion. So, it'd be really nice. And it doesn't even use this down here. It'd be really, really cool to be able to have that. And yes, I can go split screen. Um, media or something and climate. You know, I can go split screen and use double media that's fine but where it's at is for the cameras i think we're uh for the 12 inch screen owners i think that'd be really cool to get those uh make those that picture a lot bigger hopefully they can come out with that in an update or something okay number eight i have a lot of chargers in here um usb and usb type c one two three four um five six seven eight nine we'll count this one up here ten there's a lot of charges in here that's awesome uh kids love it i love it we can get really get things done that way um I, I i just think that they charge really slow so for me i have a uh i think it's in my wife's in the durango right now i have a uh outage i mean it charges a lot faster it's a fast charger basically and that's what i use because it these charge your phone okay but if you want to get, you know, a pretty good fast charge out of it, that's what you want to, you want to try and probably get one of these because these little USB chargers, they're basic, um, charge. And then this, your, uh, your, uh, charger out here, your wireless charger, this charger is basically useless if your battery's about to die. You don't want to use this one. Obviously, if you have nothing else, that's awesome, but it's it's one you don't want to really mess with if you don't have to uh, i leave my phone there if i'm not doing anything with it just let it get a slow charge otherwise i have my charger you know here that charges a, a lot faster than that for sure and i'll just plug up to that but if my phone's already fully charged and i'm just trying to maintain battery i just plug it into this um, a lot of people, this thing is kind of iffy, so you got to get it put down right, and then it'll charge. Can you do it now? Here we go. There we go. So now it's charging. But one thing I noticed, if you open the door, it stops charging. Really weird. And then wait for it. There it goes. And it starts again. I, I it took me a while to, to realize that, but um, and then if you don't have it on right, it kind of gets a little squirrely. So this is just about cell phone charging. Uh, if you want the fastest charger, you're probably gonna want to buy a uh, separate fast charger. Otherwise, the little USB ports in here they do work and get the job done. Um, and then this one, I would say, would probably be your your last use, unless you really don't need, you know that much charge all right so this can be number nine uh, this is kind of a small one i'm digging now um the key fob and maybe as for owners y'all might understand this a little bit better but i'm kind of i don't know why the unlock button is up top let me get that to focus i think it should be the lock button up top because this is the one that you're going to be using more 
And so when it's in your pocket and you're trying to figure out which one to do, I it's okay for me to guess which one is going to be my unlock button. So, hmm, unlock. I know unlocks is always at top. Now I kind of got to guess, kind of feel around for where the lock button is. I think if you're going to be wanting reassurance on making sure you hit the right button all the time, wouldn't that be the lock button? And then kind of feel around for the unlock button. That's the one that you could be more take the risk with. That's me personal. I'm real particular sometimes. And I'm not sure if anyone else feels that way or has thought of that. But it just seemed to me that it makes more sense to put the lock button here. Because you're for sure it's at the top. You're coming from the top. You know it's right there every time. So you know you locked your vehicle. You know, and the unlock button can be here. I'll figure it out. I got to come to my vehicle eventually. I'll know that it's unlocked or not. So that, that that's a small thing. And a lot of people might kind of be like, dude, what's wrong with you? But sometimes it's a small thing. Another issue that I have is this little area right here. I don't know if it's me being special or what, but when I pull somewhere and I want to, I got to I gotta roll the window down real fast. I go here. Bam, every time. For whatever reason, this one, it just feels off. It doesn't feel like I want to roll the front window and I'm not getting it right. It's, I guess it's a little bit higher up. That's just something I'm going to have to get used to. But it's just not natural. You're going to find out if you own this truck or go test drive or whatever. You'll see real fast what I'm talking about. You're going to pull up to a drive through or like a gate or something trying to open it. And you're going to be rolling this back window down every time. I guarantee it. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit getting used to to slide up a little bit further. Because it just feels natural like this is the one. But that's about it. And last but not least, I love all the lights on this vehicle. Everything is LED. I mean, let me, look at that, LED everything. That's the coolest thing I've ever gotten on a car, by far. One of the coolest things, but out of the rim, I think they're messing with me because they did, went out and did all that. I'm talking every light, LED, you know, inside to outside. Really, really cool. I love that. And then you come back here. Come on, Ram. Why'd you do me like that? Boom. Why'd y'all do me like that? I don't understand. I don't understand. The license plate light LED. I mean, you can't see that, but why did why did why did y'all do that? Because now it's just gonna irk me, and I gotta change it now. So, like I said, I'm reaching here, y'all. I'm reaching, but these are small things that have really kind of bothered me, and uh, I just kind of I'm finally putting it out there. Uh, at the end of the day, I can live with all this. It's not a hate. I just kind of dislike it for my personality and my style. But anyways, uh, I'll, I'll try and get the like video out here pretty soon too. And uh, let me get this one up. And uh, I will talk to you soon, I guess. All right, take it easy.